guys. This is everything in one with another video. So today we are going to do a review of the Redmi 5 Plus after about one week of use. As per design and build quality, Redmi 5 Plus presents the familiar design of three stages that can be found in other phones in this series. This devices have a completely metallic body, which feels good to hands on. The phone dimensions are 158.8 into 75.45 into 8.05 millimeters, which is very sleek and slim, and its weight is 179.5 grams, which is lightweight. The phone has a solid build quality with strong corner edges, which protects your phone from about two or three corner drops. The full screen design enabled in this duo does not have capacitive touch buttons. This means that users can make use of the buttons located at the bottom of the screen. According to Xiaomi, they has left enough bezels around the screen to ensure that the screen to body ratio does not translate into a fragile screen. The design and build quality is the major pros of this device. In terms of display, the bezels are now get more slim from top and bottom, which looks more attractive now. Look at the bezels comparison between this and the Mi Mix 2. Side bezels are looking almost same, and even the bottom bezels are similar. Redmi 5 has disappointing resoluted display, which is 720p but the Redmi 5 Plus is equipped with a FHD Plus display, which is one of its most attractive qualities especially because of the unusual that is still in the medium basic range. With an aspect ratio of 18 is to 9, the phone looks more elegant and beautiful. However, the display is clearly visible in a sunny day, and the colors in the display looks more sharper as comparing to Redmi 5. Display added to pros section. Talking about performance, the phone is very snappy and fluid in even this price range. The Redmi 5 Plus is equipped with Snapdragon 625 chipset, with 8 cores clocked to 2.0 GHz. The processor is coupled with Adreno 506 GPU. With 4GB of RAM, this phone can easily handle light and even heavy games with no lags at all. Gaming and performance also added to pros section. For software, the phone is supported by MIUI 9 version, with lots of new features. The phone is looking more snappy, thanks to MIUI 9 updated version. The split screen feature also works fine to easily handle two apps at the same screen. The phone is running on Android 7.0 Nougat version, but company promises Oreo as soon as possible. Again, software added to pros section. Both the phones are supported by Quick Charge 2.0, with 9 voltage. I noticed that after charging 90%, the phone charging speed gets horribly slow. It charges about 90% between 3 to 3 and half hours, and for full charge, it takes 4 hours. So, fast charging added to cons section. According to my experience, after 4 hours of rush use, there would still 20% remained in this device. Not bad, so battery capacity should be added to pros section. Don't worry, we will leave Geekbench, and Robench and on to to scores in the last of the video. The phone comes with Bluetooth 4.2 version, which is an older version. So might, you will face some problems to pairing your device with other devices. Now, let us know, about its camera. Redmi 5 Plus gets a 5 megapixel front facing camera with Beautify 3.0 and soft tone selfie light for better selfies. 12 megapixel sensor on the back with 1.25 micron pixels for improved photography. Taking a look at its samples, the phone did a good job in detailings but the color restoration is not so actual. The picture is looking more sharper as comparing to its predecessors. Thanks to f 2.2 aperture provided in this device. Depth of field effect under macro photography is fairly natural, but the edge margin is relatively low, but light control is not bad. It is good in daylight photography, talking about the low light. The overall low light performance is acceptable, the purity is okay, the night's color reproduction is not bad. White balance tuning is more accurate. Overall, camera added to pros section, 
Let's talk about some disadvantages after buying this device, the phone didn't comes with 4K video recording. I have no idea why the Redmi 5 Plus cannot shoot 4K, however, it is disappointing not having this option as an enthusiast photographer, who loves capturing 4K high resolution videos. In addition, we find another striking fact that this phone does not have USB Type-C port or cable, which is very essential feature nowadays. I was a bit disappointed to see that the Redmi 5 Plus doesn't come with a dual rear camera setup, just a single camera. Talking about another major cons, the phone doesn't equipped with NFC, which is very useful to make mobile payments. That's all guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button, and as always, keep watching and keep smiling.